Um, hi Freakazoids again. As you can see, I just finished doing a makeup tutorial. That's why I have on so much bloody makeup. And I have something to tell you guys. Like, honestly speaking, people that don't know how to do makeup, and usually people that aren't as, you know, that aren't that pretty, as you can say, always say, oh, well, I don't wear makeup this time of fourth. I'm not the, the makeup type of female, and I don't wear makeup this time of fourth. Well, honestly, maybe you should start wearing makeup. First of all, me personally, I don't wear makeup every day. I don't wear makeup every day, all day, every day, 50 Tyson voice. I don't. Because honestly, it's a lot of work. And unless I'm just doing a simple look with just like a simple gold or, you know, something black or whatever. Long story short, I came on here not to talk about that, not to talk about the haters, not to talk about the biters, and not to talk about the, the females that's basically sucking me all crazy. Um on Twitter or whatever at the end of the day I'm happy with my 800 and something followers and I'm not even a follow I don't respond I don't do I'm not team follow back that's the word I'm looking for and I damn sure ain't following 2,000 people and hoping that I have at least 500 followers not my steez not at all not my stello stilo but anyways I came on here to talk about um the new Rihanna video because I peeped it, and obviously that's where I got my makeup tutorial idea from, because I basically did the purple that she did, and if you want to see that look, you can honestly just go to the sidebar, and I'm going to put the link, and the purple looks so much better, like when you see the whole video, like the lighting is so trash right now, but um, yeah, the video, it was, it was cute, I'm not a hater, like I'm going to give, I'm going to give dues when dues are, uh, having a blonde moment when credit is due I'll give credit cheeky cheeky bong <laughs> um in his ways freaking it was cute I just don't understand this whole new style first of all Rihanna I do not like that hair I don't like it it looked like a bad weave that you had like old hair that you just hurried up and threw in your hair I do not like that you must have a white beautician no offense because white people can't do hair also but I think that you should just go back to the, the 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 main people that started the whole weave revolution, the whole thing, etc. Like me, honestly, purposely, I, personally, I wouldn't go to a Caucasian person to do my hair. Although I don't have what you call it, nigga hair. I don't have that, first and foremost. And as y'all can see, like the the first, you know, the, if you look at my, my a couple of my other videos, like you can tell that you know I was I had. I had hair like this haircut is is by choice like if you don't believe me then the one thing oh um if you don't believe me then you could just check my my old videos but anyways I didn't want her to just talk about her hair but honestly speaking me personally I don't like that uh -huh. hair and yes I am a fan of the song like I said in my last video in my makeup video that is my booby cakes um my my papa bears ringtone and the song grew on me like I'm not gonna front like great part it, it's slick when he said what did, what did he say what's the square root of 69 I think it's 8 or something like that some some see that's why I don't do the rapping I let him stick to the rapping and freaking it's cool like I like the song but the video, like it was confusing okay the video I'm not even talking about the video I'm just talking about the song now now the video Honestly, it was like, okay, at first she came into the store, the corner store, and Drake is standing there looking like Franklin, the turtle, if you don't know who Franklin is, and she comes walking in looking all crazy with, I don't, I don't understand her style now, like, far as, she had like a piano striped jacket, and then, um, what else? some green and red and black and white shorts or something like that and stockings with the shorts and she just had too much going on as far as with that first outfit but then when they were in an apartment it had a halo feel to it like it seems as if somebody that did Beyonce's halo video might have had an opinion on this video because when her and Drake were in an apartment it was all like who oh, na na what's my name who oh, na na what's my name What's my name? It was all like up close and doing close shots and things of that nature. And 
it so reminded me of Halo, like, but then it led back into her having a, not even a dance number, because she doesn't even really dance anymore, which I don't understand that either, 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 whatever, and she's dancing in the woods, like, na na what's my name, she's just jumping a girl around like, I'm the only girl in the world, but, I I I I guess I gotta grow on me. Honestly speaking, like when she was in apartment, she looked really pretty, and I love her tattoos. I'm not gonna front, even though I'm team breezy. Like, I'm sorry that I have to keep associating that team breezy whenever I do a Rihanna look or a Rihanna um topic. I always have to say team breezy. I mean, at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong, like, she does have nice songs. Like, G4L or Saxon with Nicki Minaj. If y'all don't know what that is, I'll let y'all get a little snippet. Um, that's honestly, that's my shit. This song right here. Okay, that's my song, obviously, and um, I do like that song, like on front. But I, I'm okay. I'm gonna do it like this. Rihanna stands. I'm gonna stop associating her with Chris Brown every time I do a a CC review. What the hell? Why does it look like? Anyways, but the video is cool. Like it's a cute little video, but. I think it should have just been more or less her and Drake and not her running around in New York. I think that was New York or Harlem. Nah, it wasn't Harlem. I don't know where she was at, but it looked like it was in New York. And she was by uh, a, a basketball court, like a playground. And then she's on the fence. Oh, na na, what's my name? Oh, na na, what's my name? Oh, na And she's leaning all on a um, fence or whatever. I think it was a cute, fairly cute video. And um, maybe I'm just hating because... You know, my stinker winker in here, but anyways, that's not it. that's not why I came on here, and I keep saying that over and over. I hate when I do that. I guess because I'm kind of rusty because y'all know I'm used to recording at four and five in the morning, and right now it's only nine twelve p.m. And plus, I'm kind of sober, so you know, I honestly do. I love 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 doing videos when you know. I've had a drink or two because I, I can actually express myself a little bit, a, a little bit more better, you know, and um, what was I about to say, I hate when I do that, oh yeah, and back to me associating her with Chris Brown every time, that reminds me of the Scorpion video when Mikkel and Kevin was going back and forth about the whole fair, not fair, my fault, um, shouts to Farrah Franklin, because she's following me on Twitter. She's following a million other people that, you know, actually have conversations with her because she's going to do my radio show. And, um, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot! <laughs> and, um, freaking, uh, when they were talking about Latavia being on the show. Now, my personal opinion about Latavia is her story she should be able to say whenever the fuck she feel like saying it. It's her situation. Can't nobody tell her how she should or should not fail. And, Mikkel, you said that she should go up to Latoya and ask Latoya what did she do to get herself together. No, it's all a process. Like, she had an addiction to alcohol. And she, she need like, she wants to have her limelight back. Like, she wants to come back in the limelight. So, all, more power to her. Like, we can't judge her and say, oh, just because, you know, I'm not a Beyonce fan like that. But she... She's dope, like, honestly speaking, she's going to be a legend, although I don't, I think she needs a little bit more acting classes, if you want to be perfectly honest. And, um, another quick subject I want to talk on, as far as me bringing up the whole Latavia situation, is because Mikkel said, what, uh, let's stop associating Latavia with Destiny Chalice, establish Latavia as an artist herself, and figure out what she's doing with herself. And if she wanted to come back in the limelight, I think that Housewives of Atlanta, I was about to say desperate. Housewives of Atlanta is a good stepping stone because, you know, they have a lot of viewers. 
a, in an urban community and she only told her story once as far as her side and I would like to hear her side and I wish they would stop sugarcoating shit and just say motherfuckers names like Beyonce obviously Beyonce and Matthew and maybe baby Solange had something to do with it and Kelly yes yeah, she was an ass kisser she had to do what she had to do she had to know her role and as far as Latoya like more power to her but another subject I wanted to touch on Housewives of Atlanta Kim stop it did, the ring didn't mean nothing and Candy I never really personally liked you as far as an escape like I like the escape but it's just your voice I can never I can't see myself copying your album or iTunes or going to the store to cop that CD um I don't know because your voice is kind of you know annoying to a certain extent me personally I just don't I can't bump to you and Tardy for the Party was never one of my hits like I wouldn't be fist pumping to that shit I won't be pop locking and all of that and checking no and the ring didn't mean a thing Kim took, got the nerve to say it, she didn't feel it like she's a real artist like bitch I can't even feel you when you sing like relax yourself go sit in the corner and think about it please but see people like me I have talent like you know, I'm a singer. I could sing. Like one of my favorite songs now, uh, as of today, is Impossible by Chantel. Would you guys like to hear a little sample? I'll give you, okay? Even if you don't want to hear a little sample, I'll give it to you. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, no, now, shall we from the rooftops? get a record deal if Kim could get a record deal I should be able to get a record deal and um that's just my take on a couple of things in Bad Girls Club that was a crock of bullshit and I hope that the black girl Ashley gets her ass whooped and Leah gets her ass whooped and yeah I know I'm rambling and jumping from show to show because I haven't been on in a little second yeah I got my laptop back but I haven't been on in a little second because house the housewives have had me pissed off Phaedra I don't like that Phaedra AKA the Gremlin from, um, the Lady Gremlin from Gremlins 2. If you're 90s, 80s baby, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, uh, freaking Bad Girls Club. Christina needed to whoop Leah's ass, and they all sucking Leah's dick like she had a willow. And they might as well lick, you know, in between the balls and the dick. Uh, I forgot the name of that. But, um, whatever, like, I'm out of here. And I just came on here to give my opinion on a couple of shows. And I'll be back when. The reunion comes on because you know I will have an opinion on that and um uh what else was I about to say and my friends keep telling me I should try for the Bad Girls Club I don't know because I did last year and I could have had it I was supposed to send in my second audition videotape or something like that and then I chose the radio show let me know y'all opinion if y'all think I have enough personality to actually try it I don't know and I'm over and out and comment subscribe and rate and follow me on Twitter H I Z F E T T I B O. Wait, shit, I'm giving out his. His Fetty Girl. And comment, subscribe, and rate. And um, if you're a new subscriber, I would love a comment. You know, just on my page in general. And I'll sub back. And um, I'm out of here.